welcome to craft kit time. It is craft kit time and I'm excited because it means that making craft kits is almost over. <laughs> I don't know why it surprises us every quarter that this happens. If you're new here, we're going to be sharing this video out on our channel, but you also may have gotten a QR code with your craft kit showing you how we're going to put this together. So this month I'm going to show you what you get in your quarterly craft box. If you want to sign up for the next quarter, which we haven't decided what it's going to be, we will drop the link below, but it won't be active until... It's like a mystery like box. A we don't we don't necessarily know what we're doing ahead of time. Eventually, we probably will need to. But right now, it's just kind of fun to be like, surprise, this is the craft box. Surprise, you're awesome, because you're going to make it. All right, so let's get started. Zeb is doing the bonus craft in the craft kit. There's no paint included for these, but I wanted to send you ornaments for Christmas. So they are little tiny trucks, and they've got these Christmas tree in the back, super cute. You are going to get three little eye hooks so you can turn them into ornaments. We did not screw them in for you for two reasons. It's part of the craft. It's part of the craft. I guess three reasons. Two, because I'm giving each of you three and we have over 200 craft kits, so that's 600 and I didn't want to do that many. And three, because you can either turn them into ornaments or just set them. They're like just thick enough. Just leave them like a little truck. Yeah, you could just have it like a little in vignette or on a shelf or whatever. So either or. So Zeb's going to do that for you to just show you how you do it. So really, I mean, you could pre-drill these if you want. It's very hard to find a drill bit small enough for this. So what I'm doing is just right at the back of the truck here, I'm just finding center. It's not hard. If you miss, it'll still be okay. So I just stab it and I work it back and forth a few times. And then you can just twist it on with your hand or you can keep twisting with the pliers. But once you get it started, that, that screw will bite down in and it'll just pull it down into the wood. There you have it how to put an eye hook. Okay, now we're gonna get to the actual craft kit. Um, I love these cutting boards. Sasha from Sweet Pickens has like an antique one and you'll notice it's not exactly level on each side. That's on purpose because the one she had had that and we designed this to be the same. They're all solid wood and they're really, really simple. If you don't want it to be a Christmas cutting board, you can just put hemp oil mixed with a little bit of the paint in there to make it just a stained board or you can go ahead and use the stencil that we gave you, which is a miniature of one of our most popular JRV stencils is the Farm Fresh Christmas Trees. We take these down because I was worried they were gonna like open in transit. So there's a lot of effort put in to try to help them get you uh, right alive. I think I'm gonna paint these, even though we don't provide paint for them, I'm just gonna give you a couple ideas on what you can do with these. So there's a couple of things. You can add a little bit of the milk paint if you want a darker stain on your cutting board, but here's the thing, a little bit goes a long way. So when I say a little bit, I mean like a 10th of a teaspoon, all you're gonna need. I'm gonna go ahead and just use the hemp oil straight up. And I'm just gonna be over here painting these trucks. That's pretty light. You yeah, need to I, do a little bit, I need, like just like a dab. Like a dab? Yeah. Okay. All right, change, change of venue. I'm gonna add a little bit. Just a little, little. Okay, I'm just gonna do that much. Look, it's like teeny, like hardly any. If do you do a lot, it's going to make your oil basically black. Ask me how I know. Shake it around. They've got like this light gray situation. That's still going to be pretty light. Oh, okay. There you go. That's looking better. If I didn't shake it up enough, there's like little pigments. It'll be all right. They rub in when you rub it. All right, now we're getting gray stain. There we go. I like how it's got the inconsistencies though. Yeah, well that Good comes job. because some of the milk paint like still. I'm making it look aged, okay? So if you're like me and you accidentally spill milk paint, you're gonna get some weird dark spots and it's gonna be good that's making it look old. And if you don't like the color of milk paint, like you don't want a dark, you want a brown, and you've got a different color of milk paint, you could do that. You could even add white milk paint and whitewash it. The key is you gotta mix it up with a hemp oil because that keeps it food safe. It also seals it up. All right, so this is just one coat of the hemp oil. If you wanted to put another coat on later, you could reserve some of the hemp oil when you get started, so then you just do a second coat of clear, but this is good enough. You're just over there painting all sin. I'm feeling it. 
You know, I just, I knew that on Halloween Eve, I needed a Christmas craft. Okay, now that I've got that part done, I promise you it's a lot easier than I just made it look. Stencil time. So we're gonna be using the same color that we used in the hemp oil. So if you got black, black, gray, gray, whatever, but you don't have to, like if you were just gonna use this for decor, you could use whatever paint you have on hand. So you don't need very much paint to do the stenciling. So just pour out maybe a teaspoon of paint to get started with because I definitely sent you more than you need for this craft. If you've been getting the craft kit for a while, you probably have like a little situation of little extra supply supplies. Of extra stuff. Okay. One part milk paint to one part warm water. It's a little bit difficult when you're mixing such a little amount, but I just use a little cup and just swirl it around. It's like a little mini tornado in there. So you can go as detailed with these or as not detailed with these as you want, but that's just quick line. I didn't even tape it off. I just kind of painted a straight line for the bed of the truck and then my Christmas tree went green. I've seen people, cause we've done these when, with our grand opening, do like windows and do the headlights and draw the tires out and details on the door and it's really fun. So I'd be interested to see what you guys do with these and if you do some cool ones, say, share pics in the Jamie Ray Vintage group. You wanna mix up your milk paint a little bit thicker in my opinion. So maybe not one to one, maybe like one to eight tenths. <laughs> Just don't mix it up all at once and then you can play with it. So now that I've got it stirred up, it's thick. I was gonna use a stencil brush and I realized, oh yeah, I gotta use what I sent you. Craft kit, you gotta use what's in there. Should we tape this in place or does that look centered to you? As long as you think you can hold it. Does it look centered? Yeah, centered enough. All right, so you're gonna dab your paint on there then you just come on here. The key with these little foam makeup, sponges. whatever you, sponges, whatever you call them, is you don't want to like push them down and squish the paint out underneath. Well, we're going to see if they work. I'm just going to watch and stare at you, no pressure. If you have a stencil brush from JRV, just use it, okay? I'm not going to feel offended. You can use this makeup brush for something else. So I have this makeup sponge. Quick makeup. I just had to send it because I gotta send something and I'd already spent too much money on my budget on everything else. <laughs> you know, you wouldn't think the trucks would blow the budget, but they blew the budget. <laughs> when you when you add three and eye hooks to over 200 craft boxes, it adds up quick. Maybe January. If I can get a hold of enough stencil brushes, we'll do stencil brushes and a stencil and then something very, very simple, but then you'll get like cool tools. I feel like it's time to send some decoupage paper now. Oh yeah. I, I feel like I'm doing good, but I think I shifted. Did you shift? I think I shifted. All right, that's all right. I'm gonna keep going. I'm committed now. I mean, who doesn't want a black Christmas tree? I think it's appropriate. You know you like the monochromatic stencils. Do. You don't necessarily, you're not one to add a bunch of color to your stenciling. True that. I have faith this is gonna look the way that it envisioned in my mind. Here you go. Oh, it looks good! Like a boss. Um, if you want to seal over the top of this, I would let it dry for a few hours and you would need to pour out a little bit of that hemp oil that you got in your kit into something else. That way, once this was completely dry, you could come over, add some clear hemp oil and you're good to go. I personally am not going to be like cleaning this or using it as a cutting board. So I'm gonna leave it the way it is. All right. I mean, maybe you will use it as a cutting board, but we don't know. We don't know yet. We've got another one back over there already. I'm so glad that turned out with a makeup sponge. I wouldn't want to do a lot of stenciling with it because it made my hand cramp, but it worked. Thanks for being Craft Kit members or just being subscribers to our channel. Hopefully you got some tips that'll help you with your next craft. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Marie Vintage for more DIY.